Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Amanda Ensing, and today I am bringing you some fierce, soft winter glam. Today we're gonna be getting ready together. If you're doing your makeup as well right now, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you're getting ready with me. Um, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I have an event that I'm going to, so I wanted to get glam with you guys and just do some good old makeup. We have a bunch of amazing products. As always, I'll have everything I use on my face in the description bar. Usually right about now, I am doing five days of glam, and this year I'm sadly not doing five days of glam. Hopefully we can bring it back next year. My holiday season has been chaos, so I wasn't able to get in and film the five videos in a row. So don't hate me, but I've been doing a lot of giveaways on Instagram, so make sure you're following me. I've been doing almost daily giveaways on my stories of huge makeup boxes. I just sent out five or six yesterday, so make Make sure you're following me there. Um, I might even do a giveaway on this video, so check the description bar. If I do giveaways in my YouTube videos, I usually put them in the description bar. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe down below and hit the little bell. And if you're returning and new, don't forget to thumbs up the video, okay? Help your girl out. All right, without further ado, let's get into the makeup. I've been so into soft glam lately, so today I wanna do something that's like fierce, but yet soft, if you know what I'm saying. You feel the vibe. To prime my skin, I'm gonna use the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. I've used this so many times, I love it. I even use it at night sometimes with my skincare. So I'm just gonna take like half a pump on my fingers and rub it into my skin. You'll see when I go in with foundation why I chose this oil first. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation today and I am using the shade R330. This foundation is really creamy, however, with the oil first, it glides on even better. Did you see that? And I think it blends a lot easier. I like to use brushes with my stick foundation and that with the oil is just everything. I just kind of do like whatever. And just squiggle it all over my face. <laughs> I'm gonna take a Fenty foundation brush and I'm just pressing it into the skin. You see that? It just buffs so nicely with like minimal pull and effort. Even if you're oily, you can still use a beauty oil. I would just really set it with a powder and even if you want to, use a mattifying primer in the spots that you get oily. I'm also gonna bring it down my neck. Got my strawberry sparkling water and my matcha. I'm double fisting today. For my concealer, I'm gonna use this Milani Conceal. This is the Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer, and I wear Light Vanilla. This has been my current favorite concealer, and I feel like if drugstore does anything right, it's concealer. I feel like there are so many amazing concealers at the drugstore, and this one has just been everything. It's a lot of coverage, it's like really creamy. It just doesn't crease, like it's so good. I'm gonna bring it up the bridge of the nose as well on the sides. When I do this, I don't have to contour my nose quite as much. I like to let this concealer set for a second while I'm blending everything in because I feel like it gets a little bit tackier and it's even easier to blend out. Probably can't tell right now, but I have been breaking out so much. I don't know why. I did start a new probiotic, so I kind of feel like it might've been that or maybe another vitamin I'm taking, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use a beauty blender and just start pressing this concealer into the skin. Like, it's so good. I love this concealer. I'm almost out. I need to pick up a new one. Um, P.S. How is Christmas almost here? This month has just flown by and I still need to get so much stuff, I feel like. I'm gonna take some translucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier and I'm going to set my concealer. On the sides of my nose, I'm just going to go right where I applied that concealer and press it in. I'm taking whatever is left to press into any other area I feel a bit shiny. You can see when I press it into my forehead, my skin just soaks up all the powder because I'm not using a crazy amount and it still looks skin-like. It's not too much. I use the most powder usually on the sides of my nose. I don't like to let my skin bake for that long unless I'm doing like a really crazy dramatic eye and I want it to stay there. And I'm also going to take off the powder on my nose. Now I'm gonna bronze the skin. I'm gonna use the Fenty Island Ting Bronzer. This has been my current go-to bronzer. You can see it is well loved. I'm gonna take this hourglass brush. It's a dual sided brush. I'm gonna start with the small end. I'm just going in the hollows of the cheeks now I'm gonna take the bigger end 
and I'm gonna go along the hairline. Picking up some more, same side. I'm gonna buff upwards to diffuse it a little bit more. I'm also gonna go along the jawline. For my nose contour, I'm gonna take a little detailed brush and I'm just gonna focus right towards the tip of the nose and go like in a little circle. Also gonna bring it up towards the brows. I'm gonna take this Cover FX blush. It's in the shade Pink Dahlia, and this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty neutral pink with a hint of peach. I'm gonna take this Morphe G40 brush. I'm gonna go right on the apples of the cheeks. And a little bit on the nose on the tip and on the bridge. On my brows, I'm gonna use the Benefit Brow Styler in the shade five. So I like to start on the bottom of the brow and then I kind of fill in any sparse spots like right here on my arch. I don't know why it doesn't really grow. And then for the front, I'm just gonna go upwards. Now I'm gonna take the powder and I'm just gonna darken up the ends of the brow up into the arch. It kind of gives you like that pomade vibe without using a pomade. And I love using both for texture. You know, I really felt good about this brow, but this one, mm, we always have that one brow though. For the eyes today, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette and all of the colors are neutrals. I wish there was a mirror in here that would have like made it a million times better, but the palette itself is gorgeous. I'm gonna start with Hot Gossip. I'm that bougie extra person. Like I have a mirror here, then I also have a handheld mirror. Like sometimes when you're doing eyeshadow, it helps to look down versus looking straight on. If you ever have trouble blending your eyeshadow, try looking down into a mirror because your eye is able to be relaxed. It helps me a lot. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna take Tabloid, which is this color right here. So I'm gonna place the color with this domed brush. This is from ColourPop. I'm going to bring it all the way down onto the outer corner. I'm going to take a blending brush and buff the color. Now I'm going to take Taboo, which is a darker brown, and I'm going to take a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to buff this on the lash line. I'm gonna take some P. Louise Eye Base. I'm gonna cut the inner part of the crease. I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Cosmetics Balm Highlight and I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna blend it slightly over that shadow to blend the two colors together. I went ahead and added a black liner in the waterline and now I'm gonna go ahead and start smoking out the lower lash line. Taking the black eyeshadow in the palette I'm gonna go right along that lower lash line. Now I'm gonna add mascara. I already curled my lashes before this. I'm gonna use the Boss Babe lashes today. These are from Lash Bar. These, oh my gosh, they're so good. I've been wearing them a lot and getting a lot of questions whenever I do wear them. They're really big and I love them. I need to get some new lash glue. I'm gonna use House of Lashes today. I'm like out, I'm like scraping the bottle of this lash glue. So if anyone has any recommendations for lash glue, let your girl know. I definitely have to use latex free because I'm allergic to latex. Feeling like a Siberian Husky with this black hair and blue eyes today. I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna use Benefit Cookie. I've never used this highlight before and it looks so pretty. Okay, okay. That is really pretty. This highlight is a little more on the cool tone, but I really like it. It's really pretty. I'm gonna take it on the tip of my nose and right between my eyes, but I'm gonna be careful because I have a little blemish right there. I don't wanna emphasize that. Now I'm gonna spray my face with the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist. For my lip color, I'm gonna use the new ColourPop Becky G Collab. 
This packaging is everything. It's giving me such like middle school vibes. This is the shade Muñeca and these are the colors. I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this color because I like to have like a lot of room on my lip pencils. Packaging is so cute. It's Hola Chola. To finish off the look, I'm gonna use this nude Pat McGrath lip gloss. I love the contrast between a matte eye and a glossy lip. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. For once, I'm actually headed somewhere. There's an event tonight I'm gonna be going to, so I'm getting ready to leave, but I hope you guys liked it. Thumbs it up if you guys like this tutorial. Make sure to hit subscribe down below if you have not already and hit the bell. I hope that everyone is having not too stressful of a holiday season. I know holidays can be so stressful. So hopefully you got to chill, relax a little bit and watch this video and enjoy some makeup. I'm so excited because at the end of the week, I'm going home. I miss my family so much. I'm so, so thankful I get to go home for the holidays and be with my family. We actually stayed in LA for Thanksgiving and we didn't do anything this year for Thanksgiving. We just kind of chilled. We actually like went to the gym on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving was pretty boring for us. So I'm super excited for me, Raphael, and the dogs to be going to my parents for Christmas. I'm so excited. We got a little cabin. Hopefully it snows. Fingers crossed it snows. It snowed last year and it was magical. Thank you as always for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I've been doing a ton of giveaways on Instagram and I've been doing one almost every single day. So make sure you're following there. I love you guys so, so much. Hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video.